Hello, I'm Bob Russell with the American Roller Company and Plasma Coatings. Today I'm at our Rock Hill, South Carolina manufacturing facility to continue our educational videos and today's topic is roll balancing. Okay, we're now in our Rock Hill facility and we're in our balancing cell, but before we get started on that, I thought I'd answer a couple questions. First of all, customers always ask us, why is it important to have their rolls balanced? Well, most importantly, having a well-balanced roll will help increase your product quality as well as increase your throughput. Also, a roll that is out of balance could cause vibration, uh, structural stress in the equipment, and audible noises. Just like a car tire, a roll that's out of balance will wear prematurely and cause stress and strain on other components of the equipment. Therefore, it's always important to have all your rolls balanced to the proper operating speed. In order for us to properly balance your roll, there's a couple things that we really need to know first of all. Uh, first of all, it's going to be your balancing specification. All rollers generally will fall into three primary categories of ISO grades. G6.3, or for more of your standard low speed uh, rollers. Uh, G2.5, or for your uh, higher speed rolls in critical applications. And G1.0 is for your tight tolerance, precision, high speed rolls. Along with knowing what ISO grade to balance your rolls at, we need to know the operating speed of those rolls. Preferably what the operating speed of your machinery is. Therefore, your roll will be in perfect balance to where you'll be running it in your plant. As you can see, if this has been a longer roller that's more flexible, we also have the ability to provide a third plane, which is to correct whip on those longer, flexible rolls. On the screen, you're looking at a roll that we were just balancing uh, to show that the roll is in balance. Uh, Michael, our, uh, our balancing technician, would you explain to us what we're looking at on this screen? Okay. This is a 19-inch diameter roll weighing 2,200 pounds, and with a G2.5 tolerance, we get a tolerance of 23.26 ounces. We have our speed. This is the steel to imbalance on both A side and B side, and there's weigh-in tolerance, and uh, this uh, is the location on a 360 degree pattern. As stated earlier, balancing rolls is very, very important to increase your throughput and to improve overall product quality. The question then comes into when should a roll be balanced? At American Roller, our practice is to balance a roll when it first comes in and do what we call a pre-check balance. Therefore, any adjustments that need to be made to the roll are done prior to the new covering. After the roll is covering, we bring it back over to the balancer and we do a post-balance check to ensure that the roll is still within tolerance of where it should be. Thanks for watching this educational video on roll balancing, but I know there's a lot to absorb in a short period of time. If you've got any questions at all regarding roll balancing, please feel free to contact your local account manager and schedule a tour or schedule a visit to one of our facilities to learn more about roll balancing.